Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche and today is quite exciting because uh, I think it'll be the next day we're going to get some stuff back from the research centre um, but we need to head over there anyway oh, I'm going to refuel these furnaces because we're going to need bronze eventually aren't we but we're going to go and see them about an irrigation system for the tree farm and I'm really really hoping that whatever they come up with will help us make these um, ironwood planks that I need to build this lift because I really don't know what I need to make the ironwood planks but I think it's going to be an industrial cutter so we're just going to have to keep grinding up data disks until we basically find as much uh, stuff as we can and try and make this industrial cutter oh no we ran out of wood And we'll take Emily back her bucket as well, because uh, I'm fed up of having all these other people's stuff in my inventory. Fill depleted on that one. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go give give some stuff back to the people. Gus said we could keep his lamp. I'll probably just sell that. Don't know whether to sell the boombox or not. I don't really want to have to make another one if someone suddenly asks for one. Right, Sophie's Ranch. Oh, it was Emily's bucket though. This is Sophie's Ranch. Ah, oh. Is Emily Sophie's granddaughter? I think she might be. I'm sure she had something to do with the ranch. Why does that have a door with a keypad on it? Oh, very strange. I wonder if I can... Irrigation system. Couple of quests up there. That was fish stew. Nothing really showing me where Emily is. Darn it. Gotta find all these people. Emily and Martha and... Right, so this is Sophie over here. Ooh, chest. Twenty-five gold. That's not too bad. I think someone said that they saw one like on the roof of Sophie's ranch. So let's have a little look up here. On the roof over there, maybe. Oh no, yeah, there's one up here as well. Here's a couple more of the dried apple slices. These are handy, but not too great. It's a pretty awesome mini game I'm going to show you later. Do I have time right now? Yeah, I have time right now. McDonald's! Howdy, did you just arrive at our town? You might have heard of me. I'm famous around the east town. Mc... Mc...D... Ring a bell? Okay, McDonald. I, I have your copper pot or something. Your ceramic pot. So, while I know where... While... Bleh. Well, while I know where he is... Okay, too excited about the fact I found him. While I know where he is, I'm going to um, take that pot straight to him. I'm hoping we'll find Emily soon. Try to keep these things on me. As I say, Gus said we could keep the lamp. Already found him. Martha's cook, cook pot as well. That's it then, I think. Okay, so Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pot that he made really nice stews in. I hope he'll share some with me. And then he realised that he could make a worldwide burger chain. Right, okay, Mr. MacDonald.
Oh ho, you found the milk jug. It looks kind of dirty, but that's okay. Thanks, buddy. Plus 10 relationship. Yay. I'm just keeping these things with me in case I see Martha or Emily. Running through the weed, running through the weed. I need a better song for that, really. Crafting is completed, which means that I have enough to do the commission. Finally, that was a long one. And then we need to go talk to Petra and we need to do something about that fountain. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the people are drinking right now. Skincare is a basic right. Oh, okay. Whose is this commission then? Get our butts out of here. Right. So. Irrigation system. Hmm. Okay, what's my... Who am I handing this into then? Carol. Right, okay. We'll go down to Carol. We'll probably be at her shop. Hello, new builder. I see you are right. I'm Mai. I work at the newspaper. See you around. I'm not being very good at meeting people at the moment because I just have a feeling I'll meet them all and then the game will reset. Is that Martha? Yes. I have your cook pot. So the banjo rats took my cooking pot. Why would they want this? Thank you very much. Here, have some fresh bread I just baked. Yum. Thank you very much. Carol. Have some fibre for you. Need really a huge help. Relationship plus 16. That's not too bad. Extra money for me as well. Phyllis, I don't know you yet. Ooh, who might you be? Dr. Xu is a great doctor. I'm studying under him to learn everything he can throw at me. One day I'm going to open my own clinic. Ah, now that's a point. You guys, because I haven't checked this out yet, but apparently in this particular 3.5 version, Dr. Xu's clinic has had a bit of an overhaul. So why don't we go and take a look? I can never remember where it is. I think it's up here somewhere. Is it? Okay, very high up now, aren't we? I do like the way there's so many different levels to this. Here we are, the clinic. So it's all got new signage on the front, I think. New big doors. Oh, well, this is more like it. We had a real, I remember saying last time we had a real sort of placeholder um, house. But now he has a proper big clinic, which is awesome. I'm researching some old medical history. There used to be a Western and an Eastern thought on medicine, and they're radically different. I wonder how Phyllis th will think of them. I don't know. Okay. He's not going to say anything else to me. I love that I can spar with the doctor, but he has a doctor's little... Um, thing here, so a simple ointment restores 80 HP, 16 for herbal mixture and 6 for herbs. Oh well that's great. That's really good that you can buy those. I make quite a lot of money running through the um, through the ruins but I just didn't have anything I could buy before to help me through and the fact that they've put these things in it's going to be massive help. Interestingly, the more of each thing you buy, so like 10 HP, so I could get 100 HP healed for 60. And this one, it would be a little bit less. So 32 would give me 40 hit points. Um, 
80 hit points, sorry. So 100 would be just a little more than that. About, so I'd say about 40 for 40 hit points. And that's 80 hit points for 50. So yeah, the the higher level ones uh, give you a bit more bang for your buck. I would happily buy those. Why don't we buy four for now? But if I just need a little bit of extra oomph going through the ruins, then that'll just give me a little bit of a, a boost. Thank you, Doctor. I've totally forgotten what I was doing. I was supposed to be talking to Petra. Oh, quick. We better be quick with that. We'll just fly off the, fly off the slope. Whee! I think they. Oh, sorry, I jumped on your head. Um, I think they shot at six. So you need to find Petra and ask her about the irrigation system. Something to revive the trees. The ancients used many elaborate irrigation systems. I need quite a bit. Sorry, I read quite a bit about them. For this, we'll need six data discs. Since you're building an irrigation system, you'll need something called a small engine. It's the machine that drives our cars and flies our planes. We don't have to know how to build these anymore, so we have to get them from the ruins. Can I not bring my data discs with me? Oh, gee. She lab. I'll be shut by the time I go and get them, so we'll take them over in the morning. At least that's progressed the quest a little tiny, weeny bit. I'll go lazy, take the DD home. And then I might go chop down some more wood before bed. I need to do it at some point. I'm hoping that once I fix the tree farm, they'll give me wood for free. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's so a little bit of wood chopping. Just a teeny bit. Quite therapeutic, really, isn't it? You know, just chopping down the trees, chopping down some wood. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Nothing like a bit of clear cutting before bedtime. I'm hoping I'll get the uh, the new plans for whatever it is I'm building in the morning. I gave the uh, place five data disks, so we'll see how much that gets me. I don't know if the 20 data disks is going to be for something really cool, or or if I get more than one thing for it. Kind of interested to know that. I'm glad I kept my data discs so because I needed six of them. Ah, that'll do. You guys don't need to see me chop wood. If I need to chop more wood, I'll just like take a day out and just chop the whole lot down. And then I'll basically go, hi guys, I'm back. You, you can see there's a day missing. Uh, it's because I chopped down wood for the entire day. Just spent all my stamina chopping down wood. And I'm not even sorry. Oh, there we go, mail for us. What's it gonna be? Da da da! Cooking set! Yay! Like I said, I, I think you do get the cooking set first. Um, assembly catalog, cooking set. I think you get it first. Um, but because the civil furnace is now something you really need, you I think they inserted that first. A bunch of stuff still to get though. So I think we still have another 10 things to find. So data discs, ahoy for that. Uh, so we'll take the data discs down to the research centre again. How many do we have? We've got 14. So that's enough for us to give her 6 and then give her another 5 for researching something else, as long as she's got some of the five disc options left. I imagine eventually she's not going to have any of those.
That's all my water gone. Now I have to survive the next 15 minutes with no water. Sheila, it's slow Sheila, because Sheila gets her finger on shift. Right. Oh, we're 20 minutes early? Good grief. So yeah, next time I go into the ruins, I'll take my ointments and my apple slices with me and should be able to last a little bit longer in there. That will be incredibly useful. So we needed to come back up here today anyway to give more data disks in. You have them, great. It'll take a while to analyse all the data. I'll contact you when we have something. So that's left us with eight. So that's another five that we can give away. Research. Hi, did you discover something new? Give her five data disks. The data corruption on these disks are minimal. There should be useful info on them and we'll have something for you by tomorrow. You say that and then you send me notes saying it's going to take an extra two days. Which sucks. Because I can't re- well, I can start getting stuff together for the, um... What do you call it? What do you mean thingy me bobbity bobbity do call it? Uh... Wow. Another chest up there? How do I get that? Well, they run along here. Look at me, I'm king of the world. A painting of the lonely windmill plus one. Max health plus 15. Wow. Well, that was certainly worthwhile. Let's have a look on the ruins and see if there's anything around there. So many chests around the place just hiding, waiting for me to pick them up. But I'm starting to pick a few of them up now. Let's see if we can put our painting on the wall. I don't know if our house is big enough. I think I don't think we've got too many pieces of furniture though. I think it needs to go like above our bed or something. I can pop it there. There we go, 556 hit points. I think that's the most hit points I've had so far. Fantastic. Okay, so I can definitely get hardwood planks work going on these. Because that's something I'm going to need. Hardwood plants. Hmm, we're running a bit low on the old hardwood though, aren't we? I might not even have enough for 10 hardwood plants. I have enough to 6. I need 10. Need to chop down some more trees for that. Ironwood planks, 5. I don't even think we have enough ironwood for that. And carbon steel bar, 6. I don't think there's even any point trying to make the carbon steel bar until I know I have a, a way of making the ironwood planks. Hmm. I have to keep mining those data disks, I guess. So we're going to get one more thing, which will probably be like that. Say we get that. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine things left after this. So, you know, it could potentially be like 180 data disks. That's cool. We'll just keep mining, right? Right? So, honestly, we're just waiting for the diagrams for the um, irrigation system, and then that's what we'll be working on next. But in the meantime, we're going to need loads and loads and loads of data disks. Now, I think that we generally get more data disks mining in the mines than we do going through the hazardous ruins. We get more money going through the hazardous ruins, though. 
but I'm going to go into the abandoned mines too because we get some stuff that we can sell in there that's really quite lucrative. I'm going to go past this one. Oh, that's the edge of the tree farm, I think. Alfred and Way. We, I'm not entirely sure how that's pronounced. But the feeling I went the weird way around. But we're here, so that's the main thing. So abandoned rooms two. Cost us 120 golds to go in, but if I pick up um say an industrial engine in there, that's worth 240, so we'll try and go for for the stuff. We'll try and go for like um the shiny points of shininess. We can do reasonably well in here with a bronze pickaxe. I would like to upgrade to iron pretty soon though. It's on my to-do list. So what are we going to get? Carbon fiber plus one. So that's going to help with the carb carbon steel bars maybe? I'm not sure actually. Oh no idea what we do with carbon fibre. But maybe it sells for nice amounts of money. Let's have a look shall we? It sells for 40 so that's like get three two more of those and that's my, my entry fee paid. Should have bought my apple slices really. Oh, I've got a couple of apple slices, so we can maybe get a few more mining actions out. Okay, some iron. Oh, we're going straight through an iron vein. That's great. It's not really my priority, though. I'm just trying to go for all of these things, see what I get, what I can sell. I need to take another commission as well. You are an old part. Well, that's not too exciting. Let's hope the next one's a bit more exciting than that. What are you gonna be? Copper wire. Okay. Oh, there's a few more close by, that's good. She says, finding one 10 meters away. That was a spring. How much are springs worth? Got loads of them, 20. This is more like it. I should be able to get quite a few for not too many strikes on my pickaxe. That's old parts. One down there. Data disc, which is what we want as well. Another spring. Luckily I have plenty of stamina. Helps make these uh, trips more worthwhile because I get more stuff. I might need to reset the cavern next time though. That's another data disc. I think I've got two now. Power stone, always useful. Saves me 400 from buying them from the shop. An absolute rip off. The computer game store, though, what do I expect? Any store that's computer game always has a huge markup on it. As in, in a computer game, not like the, the computer game devs are ripping you off. I'm not implying that.
there's one really close by. I hate it when it does that. There's one really close by and then you can't get it properly. You can't get the angle right. I think it's that one. Oh no, I don't. I think it's that one. Dig it up a little bit, which you have to do in stages. Some more of that carbon fibre stuff. Decent haul so far. Not have any engines or anything. That's when you start to really make the money in, is if you start getting engines. Not have any more sofas either. I didn't, I didn't even check how much the sofa was worth. More boingy springs. how much um, circuits and silicone chips were worth either. Another spring. Oh my goodness, I have so many springs. At this rate, I'm going to be able to buy a farm upgrade just by selling springs. How many data disks have we even got? Like two? Oh, we've got five. That's not so bad. That's enough for like half a thing. More carbon fibre. We're mining right by the entrance now. Um, something down there. Uh, our stamina is getting a little low, but we should have enough to do a 15 metre. That's six data disks. Seven each time I come down here, that's not going to be too bad. Copper wire we got on that one. What's copper wire worth? That's another one that's worth 20. Carbon fibre's worth 40. Springs are worth 20. Old parts worth 10. So I've easily made back my money so far. And got seven data disks. I don't mind that too much. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the entrance, but I'm not I'm gonna start digging again from there. Cause I'm just running out of data points a little bit. I call them data points, I don't know if that's what they're really called. surface that's probably the closest 12 meters down I'm ignoring the cardinal rule of Minecraft that you'd never mine beneath your feet the amount of lava I have ended up in because of that it's a large iron bucket now. I think those might be worth a lot. Yeah, 74. Those are that's basically two of those, and you've made your money back coming in here. Right, so. Oh, there's loads of stuff nearby. Great. Getting late, you should get some rest. I don't need rest. I am a she lab. I just work until I pass out. quite close by. Oh, this was a good decision to move over here. A washing machine? Ooh. Stamina plus 15 and it's worth 100. Probably sell that. I'm looking more for health things rather than the stamina things. Uh, that might be to my detriment, but there's only so much you can fit in your house, so... That's my stamina all gone. 
We'll go back to the entrance there, but I think that was a pretty good haul. And we got a grand total of nine data discs. So we'll be able to, I think we've got a couple at, back at base as well. So we'll be able to go to Petra and say, here's 10. What can you give me for 10? And we might get two small things or we might get like a medium thing. Not entirely sure what we'll get. work out like how I can jump down the quickest way possible. Maybe the DD cast will be working. I don't know why I'm looking for the DD car. I probably ran further to get to the DD car stop than ah, never mind. Never mind. Just forget about it. It's fine. Oh, stop for the day. No! Oh yeah, of course, it was telling me I should get some rest. And once it starts telling me that, then there's no DD cars. It sucks. I should have a look at Paulie. Is it Paulie? I should have a look at his furniture. See if any of it is better than mine. Probably not. Because clearly the stuff I dig up in the ruins is way better. I dug it up in some like damp, dusty old mine. That's gonna be way better than the stuff in the shops, right? Oh man, why couldn't that have happened like when I was halfway across town and then I would have got a free ride home? Hmm. Oh well. I can't resist. We have to go and see what they found for us. And then I'm gonna end the episode there, I think. I'll lose the save anyway, but two days to get the results. Blur. Oh, thanks for providing the data disks. Our research is complete and we have attached the civil furnace, the water wheel, water engine, and the water storage assembly diagrams. Check them out. Hmm. That will be the irrigation stuff then. So the civil furnace is... But you need the civil furnace. Anyway. Already learned civil furnace. Yeah, I thought so. But this is now a lot of stuff in my... Uh, well, I think anyway. Yeah, the water engine, water storage and water wheel. So I only have one, two, three, four, five six seven things to learn now which is all right i think I'm quite happy with that and then out of those seven one of them will be coming in the next couple of days um yeah i wonder whether petra will take more data discs at the moment but yeah i i really should have ended the episode there anyway um so i will end it now but I just wanted to see what we got. Um, so probably next time I load the game up, we'll reread those messages because I'll have probably have forgotten that we read them already. But I just wanted to see what they were. I was curious. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please leave me a thumbs up below. And if you would like to see more uh, My Time at Porsche, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.